Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you've probably seen by the title of this video, uh, I am selling my 2016 BMW 730D SE. Firstly, check the pin comment below to see if this car is still available for sale because it might have sold. Now, for those long-term watchers, you know that when I picked this car up in April of this year, I was only buying it uh, because of a video idea that I wanted to make happen. And uh, I made that very clear in the collection video of this car. I used some of my future house deposit on this car, bought it outright with cash, and the idea was never to keep it. It was simply to do this video idea that had been bugging me for ages, which I did. Uh, so if you want to see my collection video on this car where I run over the entire spec and I pick it up from very BMW in Chiswick, there'll be a link to that video up here. As I say, I go through all of the spec, etc. Um, in that video, so it's worth looking at if you're looking at buying this car. And if you want to see the actual video that I shot with this car and the reason for buying it, if you missed it somehow because it's done half a million views, uh, where I drove this exact car from central London to Madrid on one tank of diesel, uh, and we actually got to Madrid with a fair amount of diesel remaining in the tank, uh, there'll be a link to that video up here and uh, both the links will also be in the description below and I think the main video really proved that it was worth the gamble for me uh, buying this car and all of the planning etc that went into it and while we're talking about that quickly just a big shout out and thanks to my buddy Patrick uh, who came on the Madrid trip with us uh, with me and um, helped me film uh, help me drive etc and a massive thanks to Adrian Flux Car Insurance for insuring this car from the time I picked it up and sponsoring that main video because as I talked about many times before I couldn't have done that uh, video without their support because it costs a lot of money to do that particular video in fact I worked out it cost me about three and a half thousand pounds um, when you're talking fuel euro tunnel hotels food and that's before my time, Patrick's time, tolls as well. Tolls was uh, almost 350 or 400 quid on their own, so did all add up. Anyway, what are we looking at here? Well, it's a 2016 um, G11 730D SE, uh, not an LD, so it's a standard wheelbase. It's now a two owner car, I'm the second owner, uh, and it has now covered 46,300 miles, um, which is about 4,000 more than when I picked it up four months ago. Um, and most of those miles, about two and a half thousand miles of those, uh, were that Madrid um, trip. It has a full BMW main dealer service history. The next service isn't due until March next year. And I believe that's just a minor uh, filter change and oil change service. Um, don't know, circa 300 pounds, depending on the dealer that you take it to. It most importantly has um, full BMW warranty until it's either end of March or early April uh, next year, so 2023, which is a really nice peace of mind. Uh, and that's why I purchased this vehicle originally from a main dealer, um, so that I knew that I was safe buying it there if something did go wrong with it. And also when I was selling it on months later, which I'm doing now, uh, the new owner will also have, uh, what, eight months of BMW warranty and breakdown cover. And that's really important uh, on a car like this, especially anything big and expensive. Um, but I can tell you from the four and a bit thousand miles I've done in it, it's just amazing. It runs like a dream. Uh, and the fact that it's done 46,000 miles, it runs better than when it was new. It runs fr far freer. Uh, the engine, the brilliant B57 three liter, six cylinder uh, turbo diesel engine, 
I mean, you can't hear it now. You can't hear any wind noise. You can't hear any tire roar because it's a seven series and double glazing and just the way they make this car, it's just such a well put together um, piece of engineering. Uh, it really is a, you know, a, a statement piece from BMW and, uh, and it's a pretty car as well. It just does everything this car it really does. It's just such a lovely, lovely place to sit and it's a lovely thing to drive, especially on long distance journeys. And while we're talking about that, well, I'm on my way back down uh, from Scotland. And the reason I've been up in Scotland in Edinburgh is uh, it was one of my good friend Andy's stag do. Now, I left booking my flights a bit too late, which meant that BA wanted to charge me £690 for a return flight from London to Edinburgh. Yeah, that's right, nearly £700. Uh, and EasyJet, without luggage, or with their cabin bag, which is about the same size as most people's wallets, um, not my wallet, my wallet's a lot smaller than that, but um, they wanted to charge, I think it was £440, and once you added a sort of legroom seat and everything else, it was nearly £500 from EasyJet. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to drive my 7 Series up there because I know I can do it on one tank of fuel and I know fuel, diesel's not cheap I think I paid nearly £2 a litre uh, so a full tank of this you're looking at about £150 uh, but I'm now on 700 miles by the time I get home it'll be near enough 800 miles and I'm going to have about 100 miles of range left in, in the tank so a realistic range, I know I managed to get 1100 on the Spanish trip, but a realistic range sitting at normal motorway speeds in the UK, in traffic, going in and out of towns, a few stops here and there. This car has a 900 mile range every day of the week, and uh, that's not bad for 150 quid, so really, really impressive. Okay, let's have a walk around of the 730D. Before we do, uh, I just want to talk about keys. So this is the key I've been using uh, since I've had the car, but it does come with another one of these and a display key. So the digital key uh, that you can use to park this car remotely. So I can actually stand outside and use the remote key to park it into a garage um, or move it forward, backwards, wherever I want to. Before we look at all of the good bits, I'm just going to point out some of the bad bits uh, because I want this to be as honest and open as possible and I don't want someone to turn up and start uh, sort of finding bits and try to ask for money off, etc. So uh, let's start with the bodywork. There's a small chip in the bodywork just there. It's not bad, but and I haven't tried to touch it up, but it is there and it was there when I collected the car. Uh, on the driver's door, there's a small ding just about there. Uh, hopefully you can see that on the GoPro. Uh, and then probably the worst bit is around here. And again, this was on the car when I collected it. I should have really got them to fix and rectify it. Uh, but that's a you know, fairly chunky chip in the boot lid there. Again, I'm sure you could touch it up and it would be 80% better. Um, that's pretty much it. Something else I want to talk about though, uh, as I'm being completely honest, uh, sun protection glass. I think this car was stated as having. Now I've had quite a few BMWs with sun protection glass and although the rear uh, windscreen, a bit of glass and the rear uh, door windows are dark, I don't think it's an OEM uh, sun protection. I think that's been an aftermarket fit. I might be wrong, once again, I'm just being honest, uh, it doesn't quite look OEM, but it certainly does a very good job and I've experienced it in very hot and sunny, bright days like today in fact, although it was pouring with rain literally 10 minutes ago. Um, but otherwise, yeah, in terms of defects, that's about it. When the car uh, was given to me, all the center caps are completely rotten. I purchased a brand new set of OEM BMW center caps. Uh, it just made the wheels look so much better. The wheels themselves, are perfect condition there's no blemishes or marks or curbing on them as you'd expect from 18 inch wheels i mean i don't want to tempt fate but they'd be pretty hard to 
curb. Uh, this is running the Michelin E Primity tires. Uh, and I also have a set of the original Bridgestone run flats that came with the car. Again, one of those run flats though has got a small uh, repair plug in it. Absolutely perfect tires. Uh, but again, just being honest, the car will come with both of those sets of tires. Uh, before we jump inside, let's just have a quick look under the engine bay. So we pop that open. And not really much to see in here. A um, little bit dusty and dirty, as you'd expect from a six year old car. Um, but obviously, absolutely no signs of oil or any leaking or whatever. It runs like an absolute dream. It's proved that it can do over 1100 miles on one tank of diesel. So you would expect that there would be nothing wrong with the engine. And I'm sure that the uh, B57 is probably capable of doing 300,000 miles before you have any issues uh, touch wood. So nothing much to see under there. Um, I'm not massively mechanically minded, but as I say, there's no signs of any leaking and it certainly doesn't ever drop any oil or anything like that. So let's close that. And it's starting to rain a little bit again. So uh, let's have a look in the back first. So the back seats, uh, when I picked this car up, I'm pretty certain that nobody had ever sat in the back seats before. And since I've had it, I think I've had two people in the back. So the back is literally brand new. Um, in fact, these bits of cellophane are still on uh, the, um, the door cards there, not door cards, uh, sills. So uh, yeah, it just gives you an idea of how new it is back here. It's absolutely immaculate. You've got the uh, comfort rear seats. So they're electric with memory, which is really cool. This does have the smokers package, but I can tell you, and trust me, there's been no one smoking in this car. Um, you've got these lovely, beautiful cushions on the headrests. Uh, I believe that one actually had plastic on it when we picked the car up as well. So once again, proving it has never been sat in the back. Uh, we've got four zone climate and heated rear seats. The leather is absolutely beautiful. It can be a three seater back here if you fold that up, which is pretty cool. Um, and being a seven series, you could get three people, three adults in the back here, although the center passenger uh, is gonna be sitting on something less comfortable and a little bit higher. Um, let's pop that back down again. Got a nice little cubby hole there. And you've actually got some 12 volt uh, sockets down here, two of those. So you could put USB adapters in there like I used to do with my chauffeuring cars. It's a very handy, brilliant rear seat. Um, and as you can see, that's my seating position. I'm six foot four. There's plenty of room back here. And these are big seats as well. So big bases. Um, not small bases. If this was like a, I don't know, one series or something, the seat would finish there and give you the illusion of more legroom. But actually, the space that is within this car is quite um, amazing. So we'll close that. In fact, soft closed doors. Lovely jubbly. So let's go in the front. Again, in the front, if I'm nitpicking, uh, so this plate here obviously looks a little bit bruised and battered, but that's just from, mostly from the previous owner, getting in and out, obviously scraping their shoes and boots. I'm sure you could replace that bit of trim. Uh, it doesn't bother me whatsoever, uh, but you can see the pedals. I mean, they look basically brand new. Um, the driver's seat again, it's a bit shinier than the rest of them because it's obviously been occupied and had someone sat in it a lot more than the others. Um, has got a few little sparkles on it, which I haven't really tried excessively to clean off. Um, but I'm sure you could give that seat a good clean and it would look uh, almost like new. Again, a bit of wear down here, but no tears or anything like that. Um, and nothing worse than you would expect from a car that's done uh, 46,000 miles. Again, with the steering wheel, it's quite shiny. Uh, you could probably clean that, get rid of the shine. Um, I'm just nitpicking, uh, but otherwise, it's got a few little marks down here, but otherwise it's fine. The rest of it is just lovely, uh, it really is. Uh, you've got the combination of the semi-digital dials, which I absolutely love. Um, so they kind of replicate analog dials, which we all love, but there is some digital stuff going on there. Um, and then we've got iDrive. Um, let's just 
I drive, uh, I drive five, um, which is really nice, lovely mapping system. Um, got everything you need. We've got ambient air in here as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Just send some scents around the cabin. We'll go and have a look at those in a second, um, but really, really nice as you'd expect. Soft closed doors, lovely jubbly. So let's walk around the passenger side. We'll just show you here again, absolutely the same. Still got that on it. Um, oh, what's that mark? That wasn't there. I'm sure that, I'm sure that cleans out. Just needs a bit of leather cleaner or something on there. Um, but yeah, immaculate once again. In fact, this has actually got seven embroidered onto it. Super cool, super, super cool. Uh, we'll close that. And then we'll come into the passenger side. Again, I don't think many people had sat in this seat before uh, our big European road trip. Um, over here, if we slide this back, we've got another USB socket down there. We've got some cup holders. Uh, it's a bit messy in here, but there's another USB. There's another 12 volts. So you've got plenty of power sources. In fact, there's another power source in that back cubby hole, I believe. Um, in fact, <laughs> my GoPro mount is still up there from our Euro road trip. I will try and remove that uh, before I sell it. Uh, the ambient air is in the glove box here. So we've got the original manuals and stuff in here. Uh, and this is the ambient air. So you can load the cartridges in there, depending on which one. I think they do about 10 different, different types. They're not cheap, mind. I think they're about 25 pounds a cartridge. Um, but they do make the car smell nice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it as far as uh, the exterior and the interior is con uh, concerned. But you can just see it's a seven series. There is leather absolutely everywhere. It's just such a well put together car. And yes, it hasn't been around the world and back, but there is no creaks, no rattles, no sounds from anywhere. This is all so well put together. Um, and it's just such a nice, tidy finish in here. I really do like it. It's one of BMW's best cabins. Um, it really is a nice place to be. Obviously memory seats in the front and massage seats and they're heated. I didn't mention that. Um, it does have uh, comfort access, so I should be able to swing my leg under the car like that, like that. There we go. Uh, and it will open, providing the key is in my pocket or in my hand. Um, obviously, I've got a boot button on the key. Uh, car comes with a spare e primacy. Uh, we had that for the Euro trip, and it hasn't actually been taken out of the boot since. It's a brand new tyre. Um, it's just there as peace of mind. And in fact, something else I forgot to talk about is, uh, so these bits of trim, uh, they are replacement bits of trim for, let's walk around here, I'll show you. These here, as you can see, they are, well, hopefully you can see on camera, they are discolored. They're not the same color as the center bit of trim. They're certainly not black or gray. They're actually more blue. Uh, and that is just due to being cleaned over the years. The solvents that people have used have obviously discolored them. Um, they've also rotted a little bit. They've become very brittle um, and they've cracked in places. So uh, you can see that it's actually cracked. I mean, it's nothing major, it's just a bit of trim, but I have replacement bits of them in the boot. Just haven't had a chance to pop it down to BMW to get them fitted or your local mechanic doesn't need to be BMW, uh, but they are OEM replacement trims uh, which will no doubt improve the way the front end of the car looks. So that is pretty much uh, my walk around video of the 2016 uh, BMW 730D SE. Uh, it'll be very, or well, I'll be very sad to see this car go because I absolutely love it. Um, but it needs to go because it has <laughs> some of my house deposit tied up in it uh, and I can't justify keeping it at the moment. So uh, yeah, let's jump back in the car with me and uh, we'll wrap up the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, walk around video uh, with my GoPro. Uh, 
I think I covered just about everything with this car. I've got nothing to hide with it. It's a brilliant, brilliant car. If I had the money, I would keep it. If I had the space, I would keep it, which I don't. I currently have my M2, which sits in storage, my M3, which I use for most of my daily duties. Uh, I have the M240i long term as well, and my other half Lou has her S3 uh, hatchback, so or sportback, whatever how do you call it. Um, so I definitely, or we definitely, don't need a fifth car um, as much as this car really is handy. A case in point right now, um, it's just saved me a fortune on flights. <laughs> um, yes, okay, I've been behind the wheel for a lot of time over the past few days, but I love being in here. It's a lovely place to be, um, and I'm really going to miss it. So please, like I said at the start, no time wasters. Um, I'm not going to accept silly money for it because I know what it's worth. Uh, it comes with two sets of tyres, it comes with those new trims um, for the bumper. It comes with that eight months of BMW um, warranty and yeah I can't sort of praise it high enough something else to talk about or note is the road tax now I only paid for six months road tax when I picked this up I think it was 70 pounds and an annual road tax for it was I think it was 140 or 150 pounds um, which is unbelievable I pay I think it's just over 500 pounds for my M2 or my M3 annual road tax. This is 150 odd pounds. Unreal, and that really does all obviously add up um, in today's world where everything is costing more. So, yep, gonna miss this car, but uh, it was never here for the long term and I made that very clear from my collection video. It was only ever purchased for the video idea, which, uh, we did and it succeeded uh, and uh, yeah it's now for sale so uh, yeah hopefully it finds a very nice uh, new home and uh, and whoever the new owners are enjoy it as much as I have in the past uh, three or four months till the next video take it easy and I'll see you then cheers